Hello everybody and welcome back to more of Portal! Last time we began the game, and in this episode we're gonna keep on going. That's the lamest intro ever, but I'm gonna stick with it, because why not? Anyways, we're here on the elevator, going up or down, I don't know what direction we're going, uh, to the next testing chamber. No mysterious voice in my head speaking? Alright, whatever. Okay, so, box. So we need to create a portal anywhere, really. And then, blue portal there. And look at that, box right in front of our face. Let's drop it here on this button. But there's two. Oh, can we? Oh, I don't think we can. No, we can't. I wish I could manipulate it, but let's see. There's another box. Should have figured. Alright, and don't stand on top of the box and get all glitchified. Let's just do this and place it on the button. And then fail. Let's try that again. There we go. Alright, let's move on. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two... Uh, well... I guess this Let's Play is over, so I'd like to thank- well, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, there is an orange portal on the ceiling, beyond the glass, and that's where we need to go. So, just place a blue portal, and you're good. And sometimes the jumps and portal transitions in this game are a little bit weary for people with any type of motion sickness, so if you do suffer from that, I do apologize, and I'd cautiously watch these videos, because Things are gonna get crazy in the near future. This is a really long hallway that's probably unnecessary, but it leads up to this fancy elevator just like in every test chamber. Alright, let's go. Ooh, beams. We saw that sign earlier. Quad safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Okay, so this can kill us is basically what our mysterious lady friend is trying to say. Okay. Uh, there was an orange portal, like, right below that, so... I guess we gotta get it to there, so... Like that? Now we gotta wait for another one to fire first. And... Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject phone now here. Thanks. I am proud to be the... Offspring of... Whoever you said. Anyways... Uh, let's move on. That was quite easy, actually. Probably get harder with puzzles involved, harder with puzzles involving that uh, aspect of the game a little bit later, but that's to be expected. I like a challenge sometimes. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high-energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Okay, so... Need to place a portal right there. That will in turn cause it to go up to hit that laser area. Good. Now use the aperture signs on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Okay, so... Portal right there, and I'm guessing that we just drop down from here once the platform arrives. Man, that is slow. Alright, there it is. Let's go. And we almost fell directly off. Wonderful. 
And now we just gotta wait for this to pop up here. Speedrunning tactics! Oh, I almost fell. <laughs> that would have been so bad. Alright. Let's move on. that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. That's reassuring. Uh, anyways, put a portal there. Then a portal there. That shoots back. Put one right there. And that should work. Indeed it does. Okay. So we need to get there and then shoot a blue portal right there. Should be easy. Alright. Now just wait for that to come back over here. Oh my god, portalception. Same thing on this side. Wow. Alright. And the floor is made of crayons. That's a bit disturbing. Although, apparently that's water, which I don't really get, but whatever. They're a laboratory. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. Alright, let's move on. This actually looks more gold than silver, but I guess it's just the lighting from the game. Oh well. And now, up or down, whichever way we're going, Let's head there. The one thing about this game is a lot of the times, at least with the Steam version, which I am playing, um, has a lot of loading screens. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Oh, really? Okay. Well, let's do that. Go right here. Uh, let's see. Guess just do this. Oh, that's not gonna work. Okay, okay. I know what to do. I should not have dropped that. Pick it back up. Go over here. The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. It's not broken, it's just my mind is broken because I didn't realize what I needed to do. Okay, don't bonk it against the wall. And there we go. Drop it down here because that would have disappeared if we just went through the force field. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. We actually beat the elevator here. That's, uh, quite weird. Never seen that happen before. Cool. Alright, and now to the next testing chamber. Thanks, I know exactly what to do. Not, actually, I, I still do. Anyway, we want to line ourselves up here, so, like that, that, and we're on the other side. Awesome. And that's it. Literally. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, orange portal there, so, Geronimo! You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Alright. This time, the orange portal is down there, and we have to place a blue portal up here. There we go. And now, we just drop, or, well, really, you shouldn't take the stairs. That would be kind of bad for your momentum purposes. But anyways, Geronimo! 
Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, blue portal again right there, and again, we drop down. That was a bit sickening, I must admit, although I don't really easily get motion sickness. Anyways, we're done with that, let's move on. Will do. Okay, so the other portal attachment gun is right there. We just need to make our way to it. Okay. We also need to press this button, create a portal there. Wonderful. Now we just wait until the portal from orange shoots over here. Portal from orange? What was that even? <laughs> anyway. There we go. And. Boom. Okay. So now... Oh, that was bad. Never mind, I nailed it. Okay. Just wait. Come on. Turn over there so I can get on the platform, please! Nope. Next one. The next one. Come on. You, you can do it. I believe. And conveniently it just sits right there for ya. Alright, we're close. I can I can feel it. It's within my reach. Speedrun! Well, that's nice to hear. Okay, then we need to make our way over there. Oh, actually, no, I need to press this button first. I are dumb. Here we go. Do that one. Blue portal's there, orange portal's there. This button appeared out of nowhere, literally, after that speech happened. Uh, so, now we just gotta make our way back to the orange portal, and we will be done with this test chamber. There we go. Speedrun tactics. I love it. At least I uh, barely made that jump. <laughs> Shouldn't say I loved it. That was a bit too risky. Taking a lot of risks in this episode just to do speedrunning tactics, although I'm definitely far off from ever being a speedrunner. Let's just say that. All right. And it looks like we're done. So that is going to do it for this episode of Portal. Next time, we will continue on with the testing in the chambers and uh, see how far we can make it. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. And my god, the music in this game is still amazing.